We're done raiding stuff here, so... Oh. The plums that we looked at before are slightly blocked. Go over here. Very lucky that we do have a culture that is allowed to raid. Oh, we can upgrade trade practices. I mean, let's look at this. To upgrade our keep, we need improved keeps 4. To upgrade our castle town, we need castle infrastructure 2. So either we go higher with that. Stables, castle town, more pike. Or we go with the trade practices. And potentially get more out of our trading posts. Let's see, how much do we earn from it anyway? Trade income. 26. It's about half of what we earn from our holdings. And it's only this one. So this earns us more money than our holdings combined. And we're going to lose some of the holdings in the succession. So it is better, right now financially speaking, to upgrade our trade practices. And build up these things here. Going to get us more money in the long run. Where would even be a comparable good place to be? Over here. Uh, looks like someone is not a fan of our very well thought out tactics. So we should get on moving back. Or else could we get something over here? I suppose going there would be good for us, financially speaking. Definitely don't want our retinue to be caught. Look at her. Need more children, boy. Shame he didn't become strong. Maybe there's something good here. Oh, yeah. Quick young girl. A little bit of an eye on our raiders. Yeah. I'm not pushing claims against you, man. I'm just here to raid your little rebellion there. Nothing else. fight a little bit. To get more out of these. But we'll win it, no problem. They are low on morale as it stands. And some army joined us for some reason. Just passing through here. We're just taking a little bit of money. We are pretty much the definition of a leech. I could raid a little bit here as well. Castle Town was built. Good stuff. So we could upgrade the castle walls. Which is quite affordable. Well, we're done. Raiding, nothing more to be had. Could go get this now. He's going to raise his troops again to defend against our little um, excursion, our little journey into the unknown, but 
Well, we'll be long gone by then. Elk Road Market was built. So let us upgrade first what gives us money. Trade income went up slightly. Watch him raise his troops. Not yet. It looks like we have no alliances left. bit of a shame. Ah, there he's raising his troops, but we are pretty far gone with the money anyway. So we might as well go move on to greener pastures. Don't need to take everything. Oh no. Our movement is locked in also, so that was a bad idea. Why did he raise his troops? Ah, oh, there's some war going on. Well, that's not going to end well for us, I don't believe. I would be very surprised if that ended well for us at all. Yeah, no, it's not, not ending well for us. I mean, it was just a little raiding party. Not equipped to deal with any of this. Let them get back on their feet by walking through here, over there, so we actually see where we're going. Sort of, and don't run into the next big thing taking us out. No, you don't get anything. Oh no. We're running into the next army. I don't think we can win this. But we can run away from it. Well, that's good. I mean, we might have been able to win it. They have zero morale. Why are we not raiding this? Not allowed. Why am I not allowed to raid this guy? We are just before. build anything here because we're fully upgraded great stuff all right she was the, the last wife or father just burned our wife to death yep <laughs> all right let's see we want someone militarily well equipped I mean she's not great young might still give us children No. 
Either we go with someone really, really, really young. Or just kind of based on being old. Old and a pact, maybe. Get her. Maybe we get an alliance out of it. There we go. Wow. It's the smallest alliance in the history of ever. So what's going on here? What war are you fighting? 8,000. You're fighting off a prepared invasion. Which this guy is kind of winning. No? You don't want anything? No packs, no nothing? This would only go up to Majesty 1, and we really want this. This is what we want legalism. Legalism is all we really want. Everything else is very much secondary. Can we raid him again? Let's try. I don't get why not. Our son must learn on his own. He's not worth getting stressed over. Let's raid here then. Can't go elsewhere. And there we go. Death has come for us and we've lost a bunch of holdings. Which we knew would be happening. Let us set our crown focus here. And unpause real quick. So things kind of settle around again. Dangerous faction, eh? Well, we are diminished in how many troops we can have both for what we lost in holdings and of course in our martial skill not being nearly as great as that of our father uh, we should go already is a theologian well don't you look at that let's go for carousing and make a few friends And appoint a few people. Only have this one guy. Right. Go research cultural tech is still what we need. You go train troops at home. You still try to organize. All good. Looks fine. We are still sieging or rather raiding there. It's all good. Should we determine our zodiac sign? Sure, we are a Aquarius. Monthly prestige and diplomacy minus one. Why are Aquarius undiplomatic in this? Oh well. Goes. Can't change this around. I don't know who thought this would be a good idea. Stewardship. But we still get to pick his focus when he reaches 12 and he is quite good in martial that's awesome honestly there's a 10 year old genius girl definitely her
get an alliance out of you. Definitely retain whatever we got in our treasury. Let's move away. And we personally actually don't lead troops. That's just the thing our father did. We don't really feel comfortable doing that stuff. Mm. Right, okay. Compose a book. Can't anymore because our learning isn't high enough because... Huh? But what we definitely want to do is get our chancellors carousing now. Let's start with this. Gotta make some friends. If, you, if you're not good at anything, just try and be sociable, be friendly. I think that's good advice for life as well. If you feel like you don't know your place in the world and, and things are just gonna above your pay grade or your head, make friends. Always good. Get some minor titles out there. This man will be our court tutor. Teaching all the kids. Because we need military genius at home. Let me go raid this man again. <laughs> Let's try. And we put in this guy to lead here. Right, a few are coming. To our party. Ah, okay, we can siege here again. Weirdly enough. We do hold this. Oh, actually we have two baronies down here. Well, that would be good to hold. We could build a third one. Look at this. Military advances 6, 5, 3. 8, 6, 2. So, we would lose significant technology if we moved over here. But if we could keep this, then we could basically forward our own agenda by upgrading these keeps to become really, really strong. And that would be a pretty good position to have for us. So with this man, we need to try and achieve legalism 3. So you're doing cultural tech. You could send him to steal stuff and he doesn't like us anyway so let's see where is legalism the highest let's send him there go get us technology points all right he's moving so we need to get ready to move ourselves And um, now. Could have stayed longer, but I'd rather be sure to be out of the way before they come. Once he stood his troops down, we go over here. And of course, there's a new invasion against us. Let's see, will we be able to take him out before? Does not look good. Though. This guy is his liege. Can they invade us if we are their vassals? This is still so very costly. 50% income. Or prestige. That's just so much. I 
think we're going to swear fealty to these guys, so we stop the invasions, hopefully. I mean, so far we offended them all fairly well, but right now we're pretty weak ourselves. Alliance here. We'll just have to see. Do we have to be at peace to swear allegiance? Oh good, close friends with this guy. Yeah, we must be at peace for that. Our friend immediately got us a bunch of money. Good stuff. Okay, he stood his troops down, so... Back to taking what we think is ours. We go. Uh, the, 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 the training grounds give us retinue size. A little bit plus, but not a lot. So I guess we go through everything once. Need to be a little bit careful with upsetting the rulers around us right now. Because we would rather have them join us against an invasion than be upset with us. So, this invasion comes 88... 8083, so... We'll have to see that we get out of here. So this stops. The negative modifier stops in time. This is still in dynastic hands. Moving, but we're almost done anyway. I think we can get it all. Not almost all. Doesn't matter. Go raid this up there. Let's go so slow. There's also not a lot you can do about these, sadly. Okay, he's already moving, so we need to run. Could go here. Because they are not going to follow us across borders, I don't think. Again, we need to be a little bit careful that we don't push it too far. August, so we have a few months of leeway. the money we're right here take a little bit more of what we already started to take Now, I'm not declaring war for your really claims there, lady. I think that's enough for now, raiding wise. He hates us until... I mean, there's still a little bit of headroom time wise, but... Why make it more dangerous than it needs to be? Daughter was born to us, so she shall inherit the earth. Yeah, why not our half brother? 
gives us a direct non-aggression pack with them. So do we want that? No. Let's do that. Lions? Tough. Okay, not very strong, but you are 1,000. 1,000 more than we would have had were you not our ally. And I also think I'm forgetting to do carousing stuff. still have our declined invitation. Let's invite him. Check our vassals. Can't have a non-aggression pack with him. Else is fine. Could release the guy. Ah, we'll just let him die. Hey, no one wants to come carouse with us. Good stuff. another alliance there. Good. Very small fry, but a little bit of help regardless. 